And both of these colors are semi-transparent, so you'll be able to see through them. And so you can see right here, you can see the white glow through there. And look at that, and you can see these nice lines and sharp edges. You have already recognized it's remarkably rich in texture. Designating texture. What do you mean texture? That's why it has such a silky texture. So at Gaffrey Art Material, our first paint that we came out with is our titanium white heavy texture. To me, this is a revolutionary new paint that kind of changes painting altogether, especially if you want to paint with texture paint. We call this the mother of all paints. What's special about this paint, the way we designed it, it has the perfect viscosity, the perfect rheology. And what I mean by viscosity and rheology is the way the paint flows on a knife. So this paint is like room temperature butter almost. It comes off your knife, it doesn't drag too much, but it has a little drag. It stays up and holds the peaks the way you want them to, those nice sharp lines. This is a really cool paint. And so you can do traditional style palette knife painting or sculptural style palette knife painting. And when I talk about sculptural style palette knife painting, that's how I paint. That's how I develop this technique to work in these giant broad strokes. This would be kind of like traditional palette knife painting here, just working at these nice, modest palette knife strokes. This is how I often paint. I take advantage of the viscosity of this paint and I pull it up into strokes that stand up in the air like this. And this is not a traditional way to paint. However, it's the way I paint a lot. You see me paint just like this in paintings and like this, but I call this more sculptural. And this all was developed by using this titanium white heavy texture. And let's not get it confused with a traditional acrylic paint. Our medium viscosity is much softer. You can see it, all the edges kind of round out and you can see on the texture, the edges are very sharp. I don't want you to get confused between our medium viscosity and our heavy texture acrylic. So nobody else makes this titanium white texture like this. We are the only ones out there that I'm aware of that makes this. So what's great about this is there's two ways you go about it. You can mix a color into it. Let's see here. Let's mix a little bit of phthalo blue. So you can go in and mix a little color and make your own blue. And you can work with this paint any way you want. And so a lot of times when I'm working in skies, I'm just doing a thorough mix like this. Okay, it's kind of dark. I usually don't mix that much in there. However, let's say I'm doing water. I'm going to change that up a little bit. And so say I'm going to be working in a water scene. I'm going to take a little bit of phthalo blue. Maybe a little bit of phthalo green. I'm going to blend them in. And so instead of mixing like I did there, I'm going to draw the knife over the top and it's going to glaze over the top. And both of these colors are semi-transparent, so you'll be able to see through them. And so you can see right here, you can see the white glow through there. And look at that. And you can see these nice lines and sharp edges. And this is what's fun about working with these colors and working with these medium viscosities and dragging them over the top instead of mixing them in. You get these nice, beautiful, variegated lines. And so uh, you can see as it's getting thinner there, but it's great. And you're going to see, you see some of the white, you see some of the phthalo green, some of the phthalo blue. <clears throat> it has a very organic look to it. And so let's say it didn't work. I could just mix this up and now I have another type of blue. And if I want to go more on the turquoisey side, I'm going to put a little bit of green in there. And so this is how you would just blend the colors to do your custom colors. You know, if you want to work them together, not a problem. And so that's pretty much how I work with the titanium white when I'm blending colors. And I'm just going to kind of show you how some of the other colors react and how they overlay or mix into the titanium white. So I think the next one we'll do, let's do a yellow. Let's do this Hansa yellow. So here's our Hansa yellow. And I'm gonna get some on the knife and I'm just gonna roll it around there. And I, now that I have it on the knife. So there's a nice blend. It's like halfway blended in and halfway glazed over. I'm gonna glaze over, I'm just gonna scoop it across the top there. 
So that's the Hansa yellow. And so it's great now, I can make some green. And if I want it more green, obviously, a little bit more yellow. A lot of times when I'm working, I try to keep my palette complementary. So when I start mixing colors, everything balances with each other. If I start bringing in other colors right now, like if I brought magenta into that green, it's gonna get really muddy. Speaking of magenta, it's one of my favorite colors that is glazed over the titanium white. I never get tired of watching how this paint just illuminates. Because you can basically, you're creating this thin layer right here of magenta. And this white is like light behind it. So if you imagine the white is light and this is like a filter, it's just gonna glow through there. Oh, I love that. Never get tired of seeing that. So after you see that, and if I wanted to create a pink color, I'm just gonna mix it together. The light pink. Medium. And, you know, if I want to continue on, a little flower petal there. So, that's how I work with magenta. I'm just, I'm kind of just moving these through here to show you how all the colors mix together. Because now that is actually going to turn to mud, but that's okay. This is more about showing how each color reacts to the titanium white. Again, there is no paint that will hold a peak at that. Can you see that tiny little curl right there? Just love it. So let's try, let's try our periwinkle. Let's see what that looks like over the um, titanium white. And so again, these are our medium viscosity colors. This color is a little bit more opaque, so you're not gonna see it glow through. However, if you don't get too much on there and you push hard enough, at least you'll see it transition from white to periwinkle. Again, look at that nice variegated line, and you get this really organic feel to that. Let's mix a little bit of Kermit with the periwinkle. So this is very bright green here. Look at that. This one stroke, you see that with one stroke, a lot of times I'm trying to get this all done in one stroke. So what's really cool about the three dimensional properties of this paint, look on this side, you have periwinkle. You have it flowing right over the top of the Kermit green over the white. But when you come over here, you literally are seeing a different angle of the paint where you're seeing all periwinkle and it just transitions. And when you're looking down that plane, you see that transition of two colors. To me, that's perfection in just like an organic painting in one stroke. That was the little well, two strokes, one stroke of periwinkle and one stroke of Kermit over there. You don't just have to paint with a knife. You can use a brush. Very, you know, if you think about Van Gogh, he has a very painterly feel brush stroke. Okay, so you're just, you know, you can work this with a brush and get a nice painterly feel right there. You know, you don't have to, and just kind of, there's a Van Gogh brush stroke right there. So, you know, you don't have to paint with a knife. It works out great as it's just a nice, moderate viscosity right there. I'm just doing an impressionistic stroke right there, over and over and over. And that's what I always think about impressionism is just thousands and thousands of strokes. And here I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna do it with a, our little petal knife here. I'll put it on there a little bit thicker. And so each stroke is just a little thicker, you know? And I'm gonna work my way out and got the Say, say this is a star or sun and we're doing the Van Gogh thing. I'm gonna work my way out to the blues on the outer edge. This, this transition from brush to knife to our smaller petal knife. So I actually paint all three of these ways. I do light with brush, I do medium knife, and I'll show you here how I would do a sun with very heavy texture. So I'm gonna kinda of just lay my blue on there that's mixed with the titanium white. And basically, I'm just getting it on there. I'm not worried about what it looks like. And that's about an inch and a half of thickness there. And then I take my yellow, I'm gonna be careful not to mix it with the blue so I don't make green. And I'm just gonna start 
feathering that around there and stroking that like that. And now I have a much heavier palette stroke right there. And so just showing the difference between the three, how you go into viscosities and the way you're going to work with this paint. And so now like, you know, I wanted to build this star, this sun, whatever it may be here into a heavier texture. So now I'm going to, these nice, big, broad strokes. And even if I want to go back in and add more to the center, not a problem. And so there's a difference between, you know, this is very loose and fast way of doing it. You know, light brush stroke, medium palette knife, and then a heavy palette knife stroke right here. And that's it. I use titanium white more than any color. I use a lot of our colors. However, titanium white is the dominant color. Titanium white is the most used color, especially for me. This particular painting, I used 100% titanium white as my foundation color. And I just blended colors as I went. I started with the sky and just started blending in the blues and working my way down. And so all the textures in here are the foundation of titanium white. We make all of our paints here in-house. My, my art studio is here in our factory. And so we practice and test all of our paints before we produce them. And titanium white, like I said, I've worked on it for years and it was the mother of all paints that we make right now. So you can find the first of its kind, our heavy texture sculptural paints here at gaffreyartmaterial.com. You have already recognized it's remarkably rich in texture. Designating texture. What do you mean texture? That's why it has such a silky texture.